I was on our operations and design team working um, on our data centers. So I was in Maybe. Um, so I helped to do some of the physical infrastructure design for this room. I'm going to walk you through it chronologically. We're going on an archaeological dig. We're going to start with what was the oldest part of the room, how we designed it, what seemed like a good idea at the time. We've since done a couple of expansions, and you'll get to see over time how that, uh, how that approaches. We've got 95 data centers, totaling about 335,000 square feet of hosting space. In that collection, I include everything, little tiny data closets to major data centers, like this one. We split them up into a few different types. We have production data centers where we do all of our mission critical activities, everything that faces the outside world. Customer transactions, storing financial data. Cisco.com is hosted on gear that's in production data centers. We have development data centers where we're doing engineering research and development. We're working on things for the future. This is one of our, our development data centers. Then we have this other category that are typically rooms we've obtained through acquisition that for one reason or another didn't fit really nicely into one of those other categories. And in some instances, we've kept as standalone environments. Uh,